Hi guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. And for all my new subscribers, welcome. Um, I did reach 500 subscribers and I'm so excited guys. Thank you so much for all of your support. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, if you haven't already, please go check out my giveaway video. Um, it was, I uploaded it on Monday, July 1st. Um, so you should be able to, I think it's the one right before this one. So um, go check that out because I am just so happy um, and so excited. Yeah, with all of the support and love in this community and I really do wanna give back. So go check that out, please. But um, today I am back with the next part in my ribbon bound journal tutorial. And um, I know in part two, which was the last part, um, I was quite frustrated. <laughs> um, I had a really bad crafting day um, last Friday, which was when I filmed that. And <clears throat> it didn't get a whole lot better. Um, after I finished that video, I went ahead and did a little more and I worked on the covers and I wish I had just kind of called it quits for the day because I feel like um, maybe what happened wouldn't have happened. I don't know, maybe it would have, but <sighs> I wanna show you because we can't learn unless we make mistakes, right? And so I would love it if someone could learn without having to make their own mistakes <laughs> and they could learn from mine. Um, that would make me very happy because the alternative is that I'm just kind of sad. <laughs> so let me show you what happened. Um, and I will say that I actually kind of took the weekend off from this project entirely because I was very upset. Um, but I'm, I'm okay now. <laughs> I think I'm okay now. And I think I've come up with a solution to fix it that doesn't require, um, you know, too much. So let me show you what happened. So I had told you that I was going to Mod Podge the covers and, um, you know, Mod Podge over the whole thing to protect it, right? Now, I have done this many, many, many times um, and I have never had this happen. So I don't know. I usually use the antique color Mod Podge. Let me grab that and show you. I usually use this. Um, so to be honest, I can't remember the last time that I used my, you know, just plain matte Mod Podge, um, but I have used it before. So, you know, and it's not like it's terribly old. I haven't been, I haven't been doing this even a year yet. So it's not even a year old. Um, however... If you can see, let me show you the original, you know, what the, the printout looked like. Okay, gorgeous, right? Pay close attention to like this area over here um, and basically this entire area here. Really pretty, right? Okay, so when I Mod Podged it, and I really hope this shows on camera because it, uh, honestly, I don't want you to see it, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Look, look at what happened. And I have no idea what I did wrong. Do you see these like weird lines? I have no idea. I have never had this happen before. And I'm sure that a whole bunch of you who are way craftier and you know more knowledgeable than me um in the ways of mod podge have an answer but i don't know what i did wrong i didn't do anything different than i normally do and look at the look at the back look at that it's horrible i have no idea and i couldn't tell it was doing it until it was dry so i guess luckily i don't know um i had only done one side so this side, the there's a little bit of mod because I did like the the edges as well. So there's a little bit of Mod Podge that you know kind of over. Um, that's I, I'm trying to think of the word. Anyway, there's a little bit on the edges, but I didn't really ruin this paper too much. Anyway, I don't know what to do because <laughs> I really don't want to start over. 
Um, I mean, I can, but I really don't want to. So here was my idea for my fix and I'm not, I won't do it today. You can, you know, tell me in the comments what you think and if you think this is a good idea. I, I printed out the image again, larger, okay? Because what my thought was is I'm gonna cut it down and um, just, you know, ink the edges and put it over top of this image and not use Mod Podge. Um, I'll glue it down and not, not Mod Podge over it, but you'll still have the outside cover um, and the edges protected with the Mod Podge that I did put on already, if that makes sense. And then if I feel like I need to, I'll do the same thing on the inside, but I really don't think I really don't think that I do need to, but I'll look at it closely and, and decide. But that's my, that is my quick fix idea. So tell me what you think. And if you have any ideas about what I did wrong, I would love to hear it. Um, I, do, I do use an inkjet printer, but like I said, I've done this before on printed items and it's never done this. Um, so I, I don't know if it was just the colors. I have no idea. So let me know. I've taken up way too much time explaining this, but I just, I wanted to show you um, and tell you what I thought I might do to fix it and see, see what you think. I would love your opinions because yeah, I, I really don't want to start over on the cover. Okay, I'm gonna put that aside and we're moving on to the next part. Okay, so we have already done um, the, I gotta find them now. We've already done our bags. So we have this bag and I've already tucked them in here. And then we have this bag and we still need to decorate them up and punch our holes. And we have this bag. So, all right, so, so far we've got pages and we have bags. And today we are going to do the envelopes which I have over here and hopefully the the journals so we'll see how quickly we get through this I hope that today is um, not like Friday <laughs> we're gonna we're just gonna hope <laughs> um, let me move that out of the way because we don't need that right now and then there's our template okay so I have my beautiful time cards from Dee Dee that I'm gonna use um, to make our little spines. And then I also have a couple pieces from the kit that I can use. So what I'm gonna do, let's see, I only need three. So let's see what we have. This, like I said before, I'm gonna completely cover this. You won't see any of that red. And I already cut it down, so you can't even really see um, any of this, you know, uh, the, the, yeah, the logo on the inside, unless you open it. And I don't know, I might put like a strip there. We'll see. Um, but for right now, I just want to work on that spine piece. So I'm not too worried about, you know, what this looks like right now. Um, I just want to get, get a spine on it. And I think, hmm, I think I like the purple piece and I'm going to need to cut it down for sure. Cause it's too, too long. So let's do that. And I think I, I don't have my ink on my, uh, at my spot here right now. So I'm going to have to get that. Let me cut this first. All right. Just a second. So let me just ink up that edge that I cut. There we go. Okay, let's make sure that's gonna fit. Yep, that'll be fine. And then we also wanna check our width because if we, if you remember correctly, our covers are six inches wide. So we just wanna make sure that everything fits within there and we're good. And then height, I'm not worried about because I know that it's that it's okay. Oh, and then, yeah, made this mistake before. So we need to check and make sure that our, yeah, that's right. I can't use this envelope. Okay, yeah, all right. 
see, I'm, I'm remembering back to Friday. <laughs> I had put it out of my mind. All right, we'll worry about that in a second. All right, so let's glue this down. All right. So I hope everybody had a good weekend. Um, it's Monday here for me, but I will probably upload this tomorrow. But yeah, I hope you had a good weekend. I did, um, for the most part. Glob of glue. So let's line this up. And then we'll glue the rest of it down. Think about what I actually did this weekend. Um, <laughs> we went out and ran some errands yesterday. I did do some crafting on Saturday. Um, I have like three or four projects I'm working on at once right now. <laughs> so um, I sat this one aside and did something else um, on Saturday worked on something else. It's not finished yet, but that's okay. That is, that is to be expected, right? Um, I did, I, um, started an altered book for the first time I'm very excited about. So you will see that soon. All right. So we have this one done and we will decorate it later, but I'm just going to sit it aside because it's ready to be punched. This one, I believe, is the proper size. Should be because I made it from scratch, so <laughs> I measured it ahead of time. But you know, it's always good to check because I think I made it Friday and that was, yeah. So what do we think about the blue on there? The blue or the pink? I think I like the blue. Okay, so we will need to cut this down too. First, I'm gonna I'm gonna score it in half because I think I will um, make a tuck spot out of this one. So let's see, approximately half anyway, right? It's never perfect, but that's okay. Uh, probably go ahead and do this one while I have it out. That would make sense. Okay. Here we go. So we will fold that in half. Let me find my bone folder here. Do this one while we're at it. Okay, so we want our opening over here. Now, I need to make sure that I don't glue the opening <laughs> underneath here. That would be bad. So, but that can be like a little, um, yeah, that, that'll be good because we'll glue it down in such a way that this side will hold the flap down. I like that. Okay, now let me just check our width. Yep, we're fine. And then I just need to cut this off. Um, right about at that line. Okay, so I'm going to make it 
like a tuck spot on this side so that we can, or like a corner tuck, I guess is what I'm gonna call it. So I'm going to glue, how do I wanna do this? Yep, I'm just gonna glue this part first on the back um, at the top and the bottom and that way it'll be a little flap tuck. going to glue just this bottom and along the edge a little bit. Let's see if that is good enough. I'm going to put a little bit more All right, so there was so we have just want to make sure that's holding. All right, so we have a tuck spot here on the front. And then we have our envelope and a little flap tuck on the back. Perfect. All right. So that one's done. Now I need to find another envelope because I forgot that the one I had picked out is too small. So. I will um, pause this for a second and I'll be right back. Okay, so I found an envelope. I like this one, it's kind of cool. It's got an interesting little grid pattern here on the back and it's a pretty blue, so I think it goes with everything and I like how it looks with this time card and it's the right size, so I think we're good. So I think we're not gonna be able to use it as a flat tuck on the back, so I can just glue that all down on that side. Um, and then on this side, we can go ahead and make it a, um, a tuck spot in case we wanna tuck anything in there. But let me cut this off. Uh, let's see. Right about, I'm gonna do it right about that line here an exact measurement guys that line there <laughs> I used to be very very precise with measurements and I used to think how can anyone do anything without you know using a ruler or like in bake well I still am like this in cooking because I'm not confident enough in cooking but um yeah now I'm just like eh it's close enough whatever <laughs> when I'm measuring <laughs> You're probably like, ah, oh, that explains a lot of the mistakes you make, Emily. Hello. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, let's make sure we're going the right direction flip this one over. You know what? I'm going to flip this one over and make this the front. I don't know why. I just like that idea. All right. And I didn't I just want to double check that we're not. Yeah. Okay. We're good. Just wanted to make sure. All right. 
and then we'll just put glue at the bottom. You don't have to, you could just do it like a, you know, a traditional uh, tuck spot kind of just glue down this side here. Um, I just, I don't like things falling out the bottom of my book. You know, I always worry that things are gonna fall when they're just tucked in. Um, so especially when it's, you know, an open kind of book like this with just a, you know, ribbon binding. So I just add that little bit at the bottom, but you don't have to, you can just add it at the side. That would be fine. Totally up to you. All right. So I think that'll be okay. It's a little bit wrinkly, but I think once it's in the book, it will, it will flatten down. I think that'll be fine. Okay, and then we have our envelope here. I like it with that in the front. That's pretty. All right, so our envelopes are done. Oh my gosh, guys, we got that done. Okay, I'm so excited. Now I'm trying to decide, do I want to continue? You know what we'll do is we're going to put the, um, we'll go ahead and punch our holes in some of this so you can see how I do that. And then I'll stop this video and I'll do um, another one making the journals. How about that? I think that sounds like a good plan. I can't get my stopper and my glue. Okay, there we go. All right, so let me show you how I do this. I'm gonna let those dry for a second and we'll start with a page. So I need my crocodile and um, I'm gonna need some eyelets. I never even like mentioned the whole eyelet thing. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Feel like I, uh, yeah, I forgot. Anyway, you need some eyelets. Um, you know, bigger or better, but I, yeah, I don't have really large ones. Um, this is what I have, so this is what I use. And I will go through, some of them are a little bigger than others, but because I'm using um, ribbons and I'm not trying to use the um, the rings it doesn't seem to matter too much if you're using ring you know binder rings for you know instead of ribbon then you want to get the the eyelets that have the slightly bigger um, center holes but for my particular project it's okay if they're a little smaller if that makes sense um, it's just it's what I have and I try to use try to use what I have instead of buying new things, you know. Um, all right, so what you wanna do is line up your template really well with the edge of your page, okay? And then I just, I hold that down and I grab a pencil or a pen or whatever you have and I just draw inside those two uh, circles that are in my template, if you can see that. Okay, so then when I take that off, I have a wonderful guide and I can see through my crocodile and I'm going to use the 3 16 hole, I believe that's what I used before. <laughs> we'll see. You know what, let me test that somewhere. <laughs> Actually, I think I used the, no, no, I used the 316. So let me just double check that with my eyelids. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Okay. All right. I'm just talking to myself. Sorry guys. All right. So 316 inch on your crocodile or use whichever you need to use that, you know, matches your eyelids. And then I just line up the pencil mark in the circle and punch that out and then again I don't know if you can see that at all but there we go and then we'll put our eyelets in The 
this sometimes requires hand strength I don't have, but there we go. That worked. Yay. And there we go. All right. So there's our first page with our eyelets. Okay. And then you just do the same thing for your, um, other pieces. Now let's do one that is smaller because I just want to show you how I do that. Here's one. Okay. So this is obviously smaller than our page, but still will, you know, fit with our template, but you just have to, you know, I kind of guess center it the best you can. And I just kind of, let's see, can you see this? So I just start, you know, over here. <laughs> this is gonna be technical. Um, and I look at, you know, where the holes are and then I just slowly move it over until I feel like, okay, so it's, it's fairly centered. And again, it doesn't matter too much as long as the piece that you're doing is, um, you know, small enough to fit within within your book. If it's up a little bit or down a little bit, and then I just make sure it's lined up really well with that edge because that is the important part. And we just do the same thing. So there you go. So you have your pencil marks and they fit within your paper so that's a plus and it will cut into the bag a little bit I think we talked about that last time and that's I that doesn't bother me if it bothers you just make sure that your spine pieces um, are sticking out enough to clear that I'm not bothered by it because you know I still have a lot of usable space here so that's you know that's fine for me and I will end up mixing mixing metals. Um, I don't worry too much that all of my eyelids are the same color. I do keep, you know, the two that are on the same page, the same color, but other than that, I don't worry too much. Kind of just adds to the character, I think. And there we go. So now we have a bag all ready to go. Pretty cool. Pretty easy, right guys? All right, let's do an envelope just, just because, and then I will <clears throat> uh, stop this one. So let's see, let me show you again. So I just kind of line it up starting at the right, you know, and just get it kind of where I want it. And then move it over to the edge, carefully hold that and kind of tap it down. So you make sure that you're edges lined up and you can, you know, kind of get an overhead glance at it too. Um, all right. And then hold everything down and draw your circles. Make these pretty dark because that time card is a pretty dark color, but you can still see. Okay. I always have to make sure I'm on the right side. There's the first one, and the second one. I think I still had two of the silver ones here, so we'll use those. Sorry, I think I started mumbling. <laughs> All set. There we go. <clears throat> and I put my eyelets in so that um, the pretty side is on the front of my pages, but it doesn't really matter. Honestly, the eyelets I'm using aren't terribly awful on the back sides, but you can do whatever you want. It doesn't matter at all. For the most part, you're not even going to see them because the ribbon is going to, you know, kind of 
to hide any of that anyway. So, all right, I am going to stop this video. I am going to go ahead and um, put the rest of my eyelets in for the pieces that we've already made. So, cause you don't need to watch me do that anymore, I don't think. Um, and then I will turn the camera back on and we will make the journals. Um, and I'll show you how I do that. And yeah, so I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I hope that the rest of your day is very blessed. And I will see you next time, guys. Bye.